Greetings! Oh, hang on, let me shut the door. Right, you need to let me know, can you hear me all right? It's been a while since I did a live stream, so let me know if you can hear. Greetings! Oh no, oh, it's doing that again. Right, you need to let me know, can you hear me all right? Why it's been a while this? since I did a live stream, so hang on. let me know if you can... Get rid of my voice, because no one needs to hear two of me. Right, can you hear me? I'm glad that you can hear and that I'm glad that... I'm not very slick at this, am I? Let's be honest. Right, hello everyone. How are you all doing? Oh, actually, I can't even see what you can see. Hang on. We've got five minutes, so I can get all this sorted. Right, let me get on the old turbo. Fat, let me get the fan on now. Can you hear that fan? Well, it's going to be tough if you can, because I need it on. Because it's hot. It's so hot. Uh, I'll bring it a bit closer. Right, can you see me all right? Look at that, bring it a bit closer. Oh no. <laughs> oh, it's not going to move. You're balanced on a box. If you saw my Instagram live, you'll see what you're balancing on. Let's put you there. Okay. I think that'll do. Is that looking okay? Yeah. That'll do it. Spin to win. Right. So. Right. Let me just... Uh, It's gonna be so hot. I've got my window open, but someone was streaming the lawn there, and I was like, oh, it's gonna say hi to everyone because I'm leading this ride. Are you sure you can hear me all right? The hair is gonna go back because we've got five minutes anyway. So, this is cool. I love seeing people. Uh, let me know if you're actually riding it as well. If you're riding this and commenting then on, on the YouTube, then. You did a good job. I'm so sorry about the start of these lives. I don't, I don't, I don't um, do them that often. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this is the off the map. Uh, queen stage, stage four. Each of these stages you can do um, a race version or like a social version, and I'm doing the social version. Um, so if you do want to race, you can. Also, if you race, or, or sorry, complete each stage you get to buy like the the kit, like the in-game kit is nice and then obviously this is like the, the real world version. So I'm gonna say hi to everyone on the on the old Zwifty. On the Zwifty Zwifty. All the best for the ride, thank you. Honestly, it's a social ride, it's probably gonna be a narrow me just nattering away to you guys, so no crazy, nothing, nothing too, too taxing. I'm glad because this MacBook, the MacBook that I edit everything on is from like 2014. It's the only one I've ever had, so hopefully the sound's all right. And I've actually got like a wet, cold towel to like, in case it gets too hot. I did one, I actually did stage three on Saturday. That was... That was toasty. Yeah, James, almost 60k on my channel, which is, I cannot thank you enough. Because, I don't know, I just, I honestly, you're gonna hear me crying again, but I just genuinely like, cannot thank you enough for just, even just coming on here and watching the live stream and like taking an interest in what I'm doing. It's just really nice, isn't it? I'm gonna reply to a couple of messages on here. Do a nice little cry smile. I mean, it's happy crying, it's not sad crying, it's happy crying. But what's that continuous golden line? 
Is there a light in here? I can't see it. The window is there though, so it should not should be better. Oh, sorry, 20%. Oh my god. Did it early? Did it just in? Oh my god, what am I doing? Do you know what, Matt? Yeah, that black box, so you just said, um, this will probably be coming off later on anyway. Uh, did it surprise you how well your Blackpool ride video did? 180, it's got 180k views. Do you know what? I never really look back at views because I'm always busy making Google videos. Like sometimes I saw a message from me like that, yeah. I have got a fan, but it's not really on my head, so I'm just. Yeah, that, I, I was surprised at that. I'm going to do another solo ride soon. I'm going to do like a little solo trip that I've planned. Uh, do you have the Swift set up all the time? Yes, it's just always in this little corner of my... This is like my office Swift room. I don't know why I'm doing that. Oh, swung my phone. Uh, and I nearly had a Beyonce moment with my hair in the fan. Do you have any tips for moving from veggie to vegan? Just do it. It's just that all it is is literally changing what you buy in the supermarket. And once you do it, you'll just feel so much better for it. Like I I don't want to get because I know a lot of people if they're not vegan or they're not interested by like, oh my god, another vegan chatting away. Um the uh yeah, I just honestly I've got loads of videos of like recipes and stuff on my channel as well. Like just I'm like a lazy vegan though, if I'm honest, so also, you've got my heart rate on here as well. I always forget them. Yeah, I really like the kit. It, um, it is like exact what it is on the game as well. I did get a cap. I just don't really like wearing caps though. Although that cap, to be fair, is the only cap that fits my head nicely. Maybe I've got a weird shaped head, but I think it's when I don't like caps when they like sit on top of your ears, whereas that one actually sits, I like my ears being under it. Don't ask me why. Right. Listen, I'm not going to be going like hard effort, so I will be able to chat. So, yeah, just keep me company. And it's, there'll be people that are racing off. This is not the race one, but there will be people that are racing, I'm sure. I am not going to be racing. Look, look at them. And this is the thing like, effort is so uh, relative. So yeah, and what's like full on for me is hate like could be like social for someone else. So yeah. I don't think I've ever done a thousand watts video. <laughs> I don't think, I'm just not a sprinter at all. I'm like a an engine that just kind of like a little slow engine that just goes, I'm not hitting max watts. Not a chance, not not in a race. Because this is going to be like, it's like a rest week for me. So yeah. I'm hot already. <laughs> I do like when you're on Zwift, like events that everyone's in the same kit. I just like that. Also as well, I don't know you know. Um, I had to blow my nose on the wet towel, sorry. Um, I can't remember what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, from, well from August actually. I'm putting on two monthly social rides. Well, one's a women social specific. Both on the first Tuesday of the month. Um, and then the other is a sub hour out of Zwift. The women's ride, I'm out of breath. The women's ride is at five o'clock, first Tuesday of the month. And the Get a sub hour, half as with at 7 pm. Oh, I'm just gonna do this already, I'm hot. Yeah. So 
honestly, come and do those rides. Come and chat, come and take it steady. Got Matt. I hope there's no cows and all, mate, because that eye was a mess. Although it's really hard doing you in a group of people. You just want to like go off. I'm trying not to, I'm holding back. Yeah, I think my stamina is like, yeah, not blasting. Oh, Richard, it doesn't matter. You have to hold back. Honestly, it doesn't matter where you come, as long as you ride your bike. Also, if you watch some of my earlier videos on group rides, I was always, always the last rider. Always. There's videos of me. Yes. The women's ride at 2 watts per kilo, it is it's going to be 1 to 2 watts per kilo. It's the first one that we did in August. People just, it was too hard. People were treating it as a race. I don't want people to think that. It's meant to be a steady social ride. If you want to race, go and race in an actual race. But the women's social is meant to be a social. I'm chatting. Can you make some wheelies? I wish I could, mate. I wish I could. Come on. I mean, sorry. See? What do you think of the trainer as well? So, it's honestly, I love it. It's so quiet. All I can literally hear is the chain. I'm not, I've not been told to say that by Wahoo, but I just love it. It's a great turbo. I did have a different brand, and I had to go back, it broke like three times, and. It was just terrible. So then I got the Wahoo and I was like, it's really good. I'm really happy with it. Ooh. <laughs> a bit of a, a loud change. So, have you all been out riding today? The weather's been so good. I felt the last two times I've been on Zwift, the weather's just been like the best. That's why you need a good fan. I've currently got um, one Honeywell fan, fan, but I'm looking to get a different one. I need more. The women's social is a secret smash fest. It's not that like, it's... The reason that I put that on is because I want it to be inclusive and not for people to feel there's like a no-drop policy. Should do a club with vegan cyclists, yes. I agree. He's got a great channel, some great, great videos. Thoughts on Paris and sound like you were keen on it? I loved riding to Paris. It was just very busy and it's a city, isn't it? I'm more of a quiet town kind of gal. Sorry, a bit of a climb. Um, you're all going to see me blow my nose a lot in this ride, so sorry about that. The wet towel as well. Yeah, going back to those whipped monthly rides. Um, yeah, come and do them. I'll always share the links on, I'll share them on YouTube as well actually, and on my Instagram.
Oh, but yeah, that's part of like a a year long kind of collaboration partnership, whatever you want to call it, with Zwift, which is I'm not even kidding, like dream come true that. Because, like, look, that started in August. I have been riding Zwift, loving Zwift, roaming Zwift for years because I just love it. So again, they're not told me to say any of this, I don't have to say any of this, like it's just, I genuinely just love it, is it? It's a cycling platform to get fit. Anyway, I've stopped, stopped talking about that. Connor says, still going to get into a good training regime. Do you have any tips to keep in consistency? Not doing going too hard. I think a lot of people get on, for example, on Zwift or outside and they just go mental. Like they go crazy, crazy hard. And games, you don't get games from doing that because it means then you have to rest. You're better off doing small, like smaller, um, smaller progress. So that's what I would do. Don't go out and like smash 500k and then or just like max watts. Because that's the thing a lot of people do that in races. It's great for one race, but you do it all the time, you just burn out. What smart trainer are you using? I'm using the kicker. Yeah, the kicker. Wahoo kicker. So I think the core, I think it's, I think the core version, it doesn't get the, the higher gradients, I don't think you can put as much power in it. But I've got the regular kicker. Do you still own that 12k euro track bag, the eBay one? Sold it. You've got like 300 quid for it. Sold it a while back. No. Nope. I'm all, I'm all dribbled. So I use, this is the endurance SL that I'm on. And then I use my titanium CGR for like winter gravel or stuff. Might be Elvis with first Tuesday of every month, 7 p.m. UK time. I'm gonna knock it back a little bit. It's really hard to talk and ride. I'm going now. Um, but well, I guess people will know from unless they watch the stream. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but I've got a, a secret. Don't you tell anyone? No, I'm not going to tell you. I hate when people do that, so I'm sorry, but I'm going to be training up to do a big ride soon, so yeah. Keep your eyes peeled. Well, we'll see it in a few months, I guess. Yeah, I need a better fun than this. One fan in this heat is not ideal. Um, <laughs> your gravel bike rocks my socks. What would you pick if you had to? For me personally, I pick the endurance because I do more road riding than off road. And it takes, I can go bikepacking with it. I just love it. But if I was only going to have one bike and I watched loads of gravel, then it would be the CDR because you can't really go off road on this. Interested to know how you haven't drunk alcohol for, was it a health based decision or was it to benefit your cycling? The last time I drank was properly drank, like as in got drunk, 
It was my birthday in 2014, 20, 2013. God, it's been that long. Yeah, it was 2013. God, that's like seven years. Next September. Um, do you know what it was? I was in Australia and I drank, got hung over. And the following day was when I was travelling, it was my year out. I, uh, I booked a surf lesson on my actual birthday and I was so hung over I could barely do the, the session and I was like why am I doing this? Because obviously Mark, you get dehydrated and I was in the salt water and I was like I can't do it it was hot I was like you know what why am I bothered anymore? So from then I was just like I just don't really fancy it and then I accidentally had a kind of, I can't remember what it was, I was in Spain and I thought it was a kind of lemonade on a ride. Bought it from sort of, it's in Girona. Um, yeah, Girona. I thought it was just like a little bakery. You are, it's not beer, a bakery. Anyway, so I bought it, neck pillow, and realised it was beer. I was like, oh, that's not nice. So, I mean, that was the last time I actually drank it, but the best place I've ever lived, I like Manchester, if I'm honest. I'm not in the city centre, I'm North Manchester. I just love it, I just feel really at home here. Yes, hardtail. So this coming. I'm trying one out. Let us know, I can't play the secret. I can't. It's exciting now, and I'm a bit scared. Any views on fat bikes? I think they're awesome if like, you live somewhere it's snowy or sandy. Any bike that gets you to ride is a great bike, in my opinion. But you clean your face with the same thing that you use your nose. It's only mine though, isn't it? Once, you've, once you get into Ordax, riding and being classy, I guess, goes out the window. Especially when you're doing like multi day rides. <laughs> yeah, and if, James, like, if you want to have a drink, go for it. Like, I'm not judging anyone, it's just not for me. And again, it was like, I don't want to drink because it would impact cycling. And I love, I love getting, getting on my bike too much to, to drink. You've got to make that choice, haven't you? Like, what do you want more? Do you want to feel strong on the bike? Or do you want to feel hungover in the morning? And I prefer being strong on the bike. Yes, James, it was. It was one lemonade, didn't it? Oh, God. I'm not racing across Europe. Especially not during a pandemic. I guess so. Just finished, kind of says, just finished uni with no plan, no idea what I want to do. Do you have any advice? Uh, don't feel like you need to know what you want to do right away and just do the stuff that you enjoy. That's what I would say. Because you don't, you don't need to know right now. When I left uni, I, I went to journalism because I liked it. And then quite nice it went into what I'm doing now. So yeah, just do the stuff that you enjoy. It's my call. So, hi Kate. Um, hello to Arizona. 